Reese has a dilemma to put to the group. The aeroplane ditches, we deploy the life rafts, but there's only room on the raft for four. So who do you leave behind and why? I take you with me, without doubt, because we would be found within minutes, so long as we kept, <laughs> kept you laughing. <laughs> Reese, unfortunately, I'd have to leave you behind. You were flying the plane. <laughs> <laughs> You've ditched it on water. <laughs> this is all your fault. You got us in this mess. <laughs> get yourself you get out of it. stuck with it. I would probably leave... Take your time, Rob. Holly. Are you serious? <clears throat> oh, dear, this isn't going well. Like, if we're, like, proper out in the middle of the ocean, it's going to be ages before we get to land. She's doing my... I can't say that. Come on. And without the... <laughs> that was a really funny joke, Rob. Earlier in the week, Holly was the one that was giving it all large and putting it out there. And tonight, she's getting a taste of her own medicine. <laughs> Is that a joke, Rob? And a deathly hush descended <laughs> upon the land. <laughs> <laughs> that went down like a little bit of a lead balloon. Almost like a fart in a spacesuit. I'd like to think that it was a joke, but a bit of me was a bit punched in the face by it. Um, and it was proper orcs. Mm. Eventually, we're going to have to start picking who we're going to eat next. And, mate, you've got loads of protein, but nothing that's going to keep us going for, uh, for that long voyage at sea. So you um, insinuating that everyone else is fat? <laughs> Not at all! Reese <laughs> is only keeping you... All right, Molly, all right, Rob, less of that. <laughs> Did he really just say that? And you, Rob. <laughs> to be fair. Rob, do we need to have a little chat, mate? <laughs> I might have just taken the pin out and let that one go. I'm really shocked by Rob's comments. I, I had thought we'd got on really well and had a bit of a laugh throughout the week. So for him to say that was a bit of a shock, yeah. I think we might have reached that midweek hump where um, maybe people's true characters are starting to out a little bit. One or two people are obviously grating on one another's nerves. After I'd, like, mentioned the fact of throwing her off the boat and then, like, highlighting the fact that, you know, maybe Reese had mentioned the fact that she might have been carrying a bit of timber. No, that was you! You know, I had to get my scissors out to cut the, like, you know, the atmosphere because I was struggling to breathe next to her. Oh, it's a bit awkward. Come on, Reese, cheer him up. Brilliant! Aviation roleplay. Random, but worth a go. Bumpy runway, everybody. Bumpy runway. And rotate, and we're in the air. And it's all nice and smooth again. Oh, there's another airplane. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, oh we missed it. Left engine, how are we doing? Left engine's gone out, sir. And deploying the fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh, I can see the man to fly the airplane. I think we've extinguished the fire and the left engine. I think we've just extinguished the left engine completely. So the aviation game was a really good thing. It brought everyone back together. We were all laughing at each other, with each other, and it just made us sort of, like, come back together again. Totally ginger! Jolly good! Time for pod. Reese tops his meringues with cream and raspberries and finishes with chocolate sprinkles. Pavlova Wars. Game on. Is it going to be Tina's? Fingers crossed. Ooh. <laughs> for the second time this week, it's Raspberry Pavlova. Let battle commence. The meringue's really, really lovely, but a tad chewy. Is this the texture you were aiming yeah. for? Oh, well, that's it absolutely is, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, well done. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Well done, you. I'm sorry, Tina, but this is a winning pavlova. This, I love the chewy bit. I've, yeah, I much prefer it to the marshmallow type one. That's OK, but mine was an actual individual. Pavlova, did you not know? You didn't notice that, um, did you? As opposed to, to the to point. That no, no, no. <laughs> Mine was really high, and I, I just like built it up like a little castle. Is that because yours had collapsed in the middle? Uh -uh. And they cracked. No. <laughs> Children, right, party piece time. I can bag this one. Wow, that is amazing. Top that, Holly. Well, I'm pretty good with my feet, and I could probably use this cutlery to feed myself. Mm. Well, hang on, there's a bit of cream there. Feed Rob with it. Oh, man. <laughs> you so can't do this. Close your eyes and open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Taxi! It's night one in Manchester, where three couples are competing for the £1,000 cash prize. 
first hosts, Sophie and Lucas, are hoping to impress with a menu where looks can be deceiving. Cheers, everyone! Cheers! In the kitchen, the blue dip is, yep, still blue. Who wouldn't like that, eh? Look at it, it's great. Goodness me, do you want to lift the bowl, baby? Don't, please don't, I was joking. Oh, he's done it, done it. It's amazing. This is the beauty one. It's nice. The hell dip. This is the best dip in the whole wide this world. This is the best dip in the whole world. I think this is ready, babe. Let's go. Chicken Let's time. Do Let's <laughs> do it. And it's good to go. Chili and cherry cola chicken wings and those dips. I've never had blue dip. <laughs> well, now's your chance. <laughs> It's cheesy. Nice. As soon as she put it down in front of me, I knew I could tell by looking at it. I just felt sorry for my stomach. So are we oh, dipping that. in? I have noticed, Lucas, your makeup's a bit blue, and this is blue too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? Neither of that was intentional, no, but blue is my favourite colours. <laughs> Lucas, he's a, like Alice Cooper and Avatar as a love child. <laughs> It's very, very, very hot. I don't think this is going to be thanking me on the way out. Well, that's charming. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but it is tasty. I was quite surprised that Ruth was, like, straight in there with the hands of the chicken wings mm. because I did expect her to sort of request another set of cutlery or whatever. She's got, like, an air of elegance about her, hasn't she? Is she is very elegant. Yeah. She's very classy. I was so hungry, I would have had a dead dog. But that was the only thing on the table. So that's why I had to eat. <laughs> At the table, the group are talking nicknames. Boys, you two, oh. what's your pet names? <laughs> oh, My he's great, He doesn't like it. I it's call him Rai Rai. I hate it. Rye, rye. I just hate it. So, so, it got to the point, no. so it got to the point where he's like, stop saying it. <coughs> so I'm now rationed to three times a year where I'm allowed to use oh. it. Oh. Everyone could call me it all week apart from you. <laughs> oh, Rai Rai. <laughs> and you. And you as well. <laughs> Don't Rai Rai to it, people. <laughs> <laughs> I do call you Bonnie sometimes. There you oh, go. My Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie Tyler. She's the total eclipse of my heart. Oh. 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 Why can't you be more like Martin? Oh. <laughs> I'm your hero, baby. <laughs> we really like Ruth and Martin. Definitely. I think Martin's well up for a laugh. He's a little badger that needs to be tamed out of his cage, doesn't he? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I and awesome. I'm the one to do it, I think. Badgers aside, it's time to check on that uh, custard. Oh, yeah. Magnifique. Woo! That is a custard. Look at the skin on that. Oh, it's like a lampshade out of that, babe. Next, they portion up the bacon roly poly. He's, don't just do it as quickly as you can. You're just going to go wrong with oh, to I'm do not, it. I'm not, am I? I'm trying to get it up as nice as I can. I wanted that to look like a la carte. It's just going to look smart now, but never mind. That's all right. Imagine, like, five-star, like, Michelin restaurant meets Ghostbusters, and it'll be fine. Here it is. Bacon roly poly with ectoplasm. Sorry, pea puree and cheese custard. Oh, you. Oh, right, you lot, remember your manners. No laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and a monstrous pea puree. Yeah. Oh, you made this fun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Couldn't help myself. It was placed in front of me, and I just thought, oh, you know, what am I going to do? I, how am I going to eat this? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> you haven't tasted it yet? No, but, you know, you can't read a book by its cover. Judge. That's what I usually say to my And that's what the theme of our menu is. Yeah. That's the theme of our menu, so, yeah, yeah you've got it. it. She's got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I have to cut the cheese. <laughs> See, that is definitely cheese, isn't it? Ruth. Say something, Ruth. Of course. <laughs> Anything? It's cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any other words. It's cheesy. <laughs> I have never in my 39 years on this earth been given anything like that in my life. The smell, <laughs> the texture, yeah. the look. There wasn't one appealing thing about it. It was horrendous. There's an element of fun to the main. It was, it was meant to be also fun, but it wasn't deadly, meant to be a joke. It's deadly like, seriously you know, good at the spent same time. All day making that, and we've made that a million times, and it's always been really nice. And I've so. never met anyone who that isn't their favourite food once they've tried it once. Well, you have now. Lovely house, lovely home. Jeez. Everything about them is lovely, apart from the food. <laughs> this is where the passion lies. The, the passion fruit pavlova with uh, homemade orange curd. He mixes his orange curd into cream and passion fruit. Oh, that's foolproof. Oh, that's going to win. Then tops his meringues. 
I've seen chefs sort of do this. What, little chefs? Oh, yes. Here it is, pavlova passion. Goodness. Wow, sir. What we have here is a passion fruit pavlova with a orange curd as well. What's these things here? That's no, passion fruit. Passion fruit? Oh, that's passion fruit. Yeah, yeah. OK. Never had passion fruit before? Clearly not. The meringue was absolutely delicious. The texture of the meringue, the cream and the passion fruit went really well. God damn it. Dessert was nice, but really, really, really tangy. But he did, he did a really good job with his pavlova. This is absolutely delicious. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. It was a small homemade meringue that was perfect. It was um, firm on the outside, gooey in the middle. It was absolutely delicious. <sighs> Dessert was back of the net. What is the craziest noise that you can make? Oh, Dave, don't. <laughs> Didn't even ask you. I don't ever want to think about David's weird noise again, let alone hear it. My weird noise is uh, the first thing I could think of is. Yeah, that is a weird noise. I used to have chickens and I used to call them like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she thinks she's a three. And she makes noises like that. So basically, you can talk to chickens. I honestly don't know what we're doing. Get your number up from three to five on the wacky front, man. How are you? Make what? a noise. Go on, sir. Weird Noises was up there with one of my favourite favourite points of this week. Absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting all night for him to do something funny and great, and he comes out with, ar, ar, ar. I can't do it myself. Ar, ar. That took you to a five. Yeah, that is what I've been waiting for. Chin <laughs> John's chatting to his crustaceans. Well, of all, it's time you win me that thousand pounds. Right into the pan you go. Langoustine's lobbed in, he sears his scallops and serves. Here it is, Bianamara, or food of the sea. Hope you enjoy. Lovely, thank you kindly. No bother at all. Watch your fingers, they can be a bit tasty. <laughs> well, they did warn you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> the Langoustine's were a wee bit pernickety. But that kind of just put me off a wee bit because it was so pernickety. The scallops, a little bit overcooked. There wasn't enough kind of sauce with it. The langoustines, they look sensational on the plate, but as I think we all saw, a bit of a handful to kind of open. Okay, so you speak Gaelic then? I used to be fluent at Gaelic. That was my first ever language, was wow. Gaelic. So the family home would have been speaking Gaelic? Yeah, so we went to Gaelic primary school in Glasgow. Come on, give us a line then. Ha shit. Girach Allen. That does, that sounds Glasgow Swedish word to me. <laughs> 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 Sheet Gina Allen. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's Gina Allen ever done to you? <laughs> Allen is beautiful, so I should. This is just beautiful. Just had to start her, and I think it went down well. Um, everyone seemed to enjoy it. I think couldn't get a better start if we tried. With John feeling chipper, the venison goes into roast. So it's on to the jus. He mixes red wine, cream, and red currant jelly. I'm quite a pro myself, you know, so I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. Nailed it. And the main is served. Oh, dear. Let's hope it doesn't live up to its name, eh? Hey, so what we've got is a bit of oh, dear, which is Isle of Sky venison, roasted vegetables, mashed potatoes, red currant, jus, as they call it. Mmm. The main dish was tasty, quite rich. The sauce on the meat was just a little bit too peppery for me. I would be slightly critical and say, if I'm going to be really foodie-wise, it was overcooked. Not the best reaction so far, but there's still Andrea to go. Tasty. Yeah? Mm. Very nice. Do love venison. Sounds promising. That was so overcooked. Right. You could tell it was good two pieces of venison he had. It's a risky one to cook if you're not really confident with cooking. Talk turns to John's irritations. But the thing that annoys me, I don't know if it annoys you, but see every place you walk past, pulled pork. I don't know if it annoys you. All the time. Every you go, would you like a pulled pork sandwich? No, thank you. Do you like pork, though? Normal pork? I like pork, aye, but it just seems like... You just like... don't like it being pulled? No. 
<laughs> is there anywhere where it is suitable to have your pork pork? Let's move on, Peter. I'm not even going to answer that. <laughs> I quite like Leona's laugh. I don't know how I'd feel full time with it, to be quite honest. I'm not quite sure. Got Leona here who's got the most infectious laugh ever. That's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> when you uh -huh. laugh, you can't have, you have to laugh. Yeah. It's great. I'm not saying I would grab her and tickle her for an hour. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just met. <laughs> <laughs> Even though there's a few bits left, oh, well, it wouldn't be because they didn't enjoy it, it was just cooked. Absolutely perfect. What is your hidden talent? About 18 years ago, I was part of a full Monty group. I was basically a stripper. Yeah, go for it. Uh oh. Uh, 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 uh. I'm too sexy for my uh. own. Too sexy uh. for my own. Embarrassing dad at a wedding. In all fairness, my dad's like 74 and like he can dance better than Scott. <laughs> So maybe you should become a painter and decorator, because he wasn't very good at stripping. I see what you did there. Would anybody else have the bottle to do that? Definitely, I do it. I'll do. I'll do it with you. Puppies are straight out. Fine, Claire, do it together. <laughs> Here we go then. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh my word! I'm sure this isn't what Russ Abbott had in mind. It was a fantastic dance. At one point, I think I saw Gio bend her over and give her the Italian slap. I think Claire was happy with that. She was shooting the radiator. Do you know what? I love that. I just feel like all our family's back together, and it just makes me happy. Scott has brought us all together, and he's done a fantastic job. What a fabulous host. Hopefully, the dessert will go down as well as the starters and the mains. Pint of cheesecake. Really hope they enjoy it. Let's smash it. Probably better off serving it first. Scott grabs his puds out of the fridge, whacks on one leaf of mint. Last orders, bottoms up. And there it is, a pint of cookie cheesecake with berries. Looks like a half to me. Claire, there we are, my darling. Oh, wow. Pint of cheesecake. Oh, pint of cheesecake. Thank you. This is my dessert. Please tuck in, enjoy. I think you'll find it's an infusion of flavours. Um. Mm. In some ways, I'm glad it doesn't taste like cheesecake because I had a bad experience once about cheesecake. Right, we're not going there. So, it's really nice. Um, it's nice and creamy, chocolatey, fruity. The consistency is not perfect because the, 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 the cheesecake isn't yeah. star, but, but it's very tasty. I love the cheesecake. Oh, my God, the flavours are really lovely. Tonight, you've delivered a glass of delight. Right, guys, just want a bit of fun to finish the evening off. Just want to know everybody's favourite joke. Lobster walks into a bar. Barman says, you're barred. Last time you were here, you were giving it all that. <laughs> so if I seen a guy at a bar, I'd say, oh, my God, are you from Tennessee? Cos you're the only ten I see. <laughs> That's not a joke. Right, like, do you like knock-knock jokes? Yes. Say knock-knock. Knock-knock. <laughs> Who's there? Don't know. <laughs> You're meant to say knock knock, Giovanni. It's just no. Try it again, ready? <laughs> try it again. Say knock knock. No, you don't say no, knock, she knock. Say knock knock. That's funny she, when she says say, it. Say knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> He's pulling your leg, Claire. Taxi! Zoo was beautiful. It wasn't a cheesecake. Um, but it was tasty, and, and that's what mattered. The pudding tonight wasn't my cup of tea, and it wasn't my type of pint. The flavours were really, really nice, and it, it did quite work. Overall, it was lush dessert. After the night and everybody's comments, I genuinely think I could win this. Food was OK, atmosphere, hosting was fantastic. For that reason, Scott, you get a sexy seven. So the food was lush. Atmosphere amazing. All in all, I'm going to score Scott an eight. Scott made a massive effort on bringing everybody back together, so tonight I'm giving Scott a seven. And knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> seven. Don't get it. All of that means Scott misses out on top spot by just two points with a final score of 29. <laughs>